I believe that you as a mom or dad have to be proactive with regards to your child's health. Do you have a child with a cleft lip or a cleft palate? A cleft lip is an opening in the upper lip, while a cleft palate is an opening in the roof of the mouth. A child can have a simple cleft lip alone or a cleft palate alone, or may have both. Get to know what causes it, how doctors diagnose this condition, what are the complications that may arise from this, how is it treated, and how it is prevented. Hi, I am Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to better raise happy and healthy kids. Yay! Cleft lip and cleft palate. What is a cleft lip or a cleft palate? Well, these are slits or openings in the upper lip for a cleft lip and in the roof of the mouth for a cleft palate. A child may have a cleft lip or cleft palate alone, or a child may have both. A child may also have this single defect or it may occur with other defects. As to the cleft lip, it may be mild such as a notch in the upper lip or it may be severe as it may be seen from the lip up to the nose. As to the cleft palate, it may not be as noticeable because it is found inside the mouth. It may happen, it may occur from one or both sides of the palate. It goes from the front of the mouth or the hard palate up to the throat or the soft palate and may occur with a cleft lip. So what causes cleft lip and cleft palate? It happens when the baby is developing inside the mother's womb. Researchers don't know what is the exact cause. Um, it may be from genes passed on from parents, or it may also be from environmental factors such as medications the mom has taken, from smoking, from drinking alcohol, from infections, or from taking too little vitamin B and folic acid. So how is it diagnosed by the doctor? Usually, it can be diagnosed by your baby's doctor during the first exam where the lip does not close completely or the roof of the mouth does not close completely or both the lip and the roof of the mouth does not close completely. It can also be diagnosed during a pregnancy by a prenatal ultrasound. Now, what complications might arise from cleft lip and cleft palate? The first complication is feeding trouble, and this is mostly found in babies with cleft palate. This happens because the baby is not able to suck properly because the roof of the mouth is not formed completely. Another complication are ear infections and hearing loss. This happens because of the problem of the tubes that connect the middle ear to the throat and infections, ear infections that happen again and again can lead to hearing loss. Another complication might be speech delay. This is because the muscles involved with speech may not work as well, so a child may have delay in speech or an odd speech. Talk to your doctor about your child seeing a speech therapist. And then, another complication might be dental problems. Your child may have problems with his or her teeth. In this case, your child may need to be seen by an orthodontist or a dentist with special training in treating uh, teeth that are out of line or with problems with the jaw. Now, the treatment for cleft lip and cleft palate involves surgery. For the cleft lip, first surgery is usually done between three to six months and for cleft palate, the first surgery is usually done between 10 to 14 months of age. Now, there are ways to prevent cleft lip and cleft palate. If you are trying to get pregnant, you can get a pre-pregnancy exam to make sure that you are healthy. And if you are pregnant, go to regular prenatal exams. 
if you are trying to get pregnant, take a folic acid. And if you are pregnant, take a prenatal vitamin that contains folic acid. Don't smoke and don't drink alcohol during pregnancy. Alright, if you enjoyed and liked this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.